welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the AirSpy SDR receiver. Now this is a really nice little compact unit as you can see here, it's uh, it's got a USB connection one end and the other end it's an SMA female to connect your antenna. It's made of solid metal and, and it feels really nice and solid in the hand. Now as a comparison for size, this is a any SDR Smart T SDR receiver and we're also going to put an RSP Duro from SDR Play next to it just so you can see the size of uh, of what the Air Spy is. Um, as you can see, it, see, it's fairly similar to the new Elec. Now there are many things that you can do with an Air Spy Mini. Uh, you can use it as a portable radio monitoring station. You can use it as a real-time spectrum analyzer. Uh, use it for receiving ADSB, ATC, uh, radio astronomy, satellite, IF, even telemetry receiver. Uh, use it as a wideband scanner. Uh, use it for educational purposes. And of course you can use it for ham radio. I'm gonna concentrate on five things which I think is pretty cool out of that list. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is VHF and UHF radio monitoring. Now we're going to use a piece of software called SDR Sharp, which is actually made by AirSpy. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description of where you can download this SDR receiving software from. So once you've got it installed, you need to go ahead and select your AirSpy device. You can also change the sample rate and then we can also choose the mode in which we want to listen. I'm gonna start off with listening to something on the normal FM radio band. So I'm gonna set the mode to WFM, which is wide FM, and then I'm gonna set the frequency. You can use your mouse um, just by using the scroll wheel on your mouse if you have one to change the frequency by holding your mouse over the numbers, or you can actually click on each of the peaks that are there. So if we retune the S by Mini using the software to around 430 megahertz, you're going to find some amateur radio activity. Now this is the UHF part. Um, it also covers two meters as well, so anything between 25 and 1.8 gigs, that's 1800 megahertz. So between that, we do get quite a few different ham radio bands. At the moment, this is currently listening to a repeater a good few miles away. Let's take a little listen. Now one of the good things with SDR Sharp, because it is an SDR receiver, you can see a whole few megahertz or scope on the screen of activity. So when you see some other peaks, you can just click on them and start listening to them. Let's jump to a band a bit lower than here. Let's have a listen around 130 megahertz where we're gonna find aircraft. Aircraft transmit primarily on AM, that's amplitude modulation. So let's have a little listen to see if we can find something to listen to. Now one of the other cool things you can do with an AirSpy Mini using the SDR software, SDR Sharp, is decode digital audio. Now the reason for this is because a feature of SDR Sharp allows you to output the audio to something called like virtual cable. Now virtual cable is like a, a, an audio cable within your computer which you can then route the audio to another application. So in this example we're going to be looking at using DSD+. Plus. Now DSD+, Plus is available free on the internet I'm using a fast lane version um, which uh, is more up to date now what this does it decodes digital audio now DSD plus supports D star fusion C4 FM DMR P25 etc and it's very easy to use in this example here that you can see I have DSD plus running I have the audio output of SDR sharp routed to DSD plus and you can see and hear the audio being decoded. I'm actually listening to my open spot 2 which is connected to to a reflector. Let's take a listen and hear what it sounds like. Yeah, it's 
Gulf Mark Delta uh, to the museum of Japan, Yankee, Norway. Uh, we turn in. No, I've uh, not tuned into that. Uh, it's Tuesday uh, evenings. Um, I'm usually uh, pretty busy. Uh, I have, I'm on the, uh, from 9 o'clock um, onwards. Uh, I'm usually, no, sorry, from 7 o'clock, 7.30 onwards to about 9 o'clock. I'm uh, usually on a uh, C4FM net, uh, which is um, in a room called um, Northwest Fusion. So another cool thing that you can do is listening to DAB radio. DAB is digital audio broadcast. Now it normally transmits around, I think, 220 megs. That kind of area has a really wide bandwidth and it's digital. So if you go ahead and try listening to it just on SDR Sharp, you're just going to hear a whole load of noise. So so what we can do is we can download a bit of software called Welly IO and uh, install that onto your computer. Now I'm going to be showing the Windows version. I do have other versions for uh, different operating systems, but the version I'm going to show you is for Windows and I'm using Windows 10. Now there's no other software that you need. All you need to do is just have your SPI Mini plugged into your computer and an appropriate antenna. Now once you've got it installed and it seems to be working, uh, make sure you've got your SPI plugged in and an appropriate antenna. Click the little three dots on the left hand side of the screen there and select start scanning. It will then actually start scanning through all the different available channels for DAB radio stations. Now as you can see here, it's populating a list of uh, found radio stations on the left hand side and if you want to listen to one once it's finished uh, scanning I, I've actually speeded this up because it takes around two or three minutes to do a full scan but if you want to listen to a station you just simply just click it on the left uh, and that will then actually start decoding now you may find that some of them are not as strong as others so you may get some kind of garbling or some kind of uh, um, distortion or uh, not decoding properly using a little orange plus in the bottom right hand corner you can add these extra little kind of monitoring boxes so you can have a look at uh, how strong the signal is and how good quality the decode is as well so as well as showing the uh, track information and station information while it's playing you can actually have a look at the spectrum and have a look at the technical side of it behind it while it's playing now this is great, it's just a single application and if you like listening to stations that are broadcast on the DAB radio network then you can just go ahead, load the software, select the station you want to listen to and just minimise it and away you go, you can carry on doing whatever you was doing. So there you go, that's a real easy way of listening to DAB just using your AirSpy and the Welly IO software running on your computer. It's called Found, you twit. <laughs> Points where people's phones are inspected and the use of facial recognition technology. Darren Bylo is an anthropologist at the University of Washington where he researches with train. I've watched his brother train. I've watched Becca train them. Yeah. I've pl hit balls with them. This you is know, an argument these, because we're talking about football and This is proper fitness they've got here. Yes. Proper. A 38-year-old yeah. man that yes. plays the way Federer does. No, I'm sorry. No, I, no, I, I, I agree with you on a lot of I've things, been on, I've been not on, on this. Now, another cool thing you can do with an AirSpy Mini is to track aircraft and see live aircraft plot on a map now to do this you need two bits of software one's called adsbspy.exe and the other is virtual radar server i'll leave a link down in the description where you can get virtual radar server from but ADSB spy is actually included in the installation folder of sdr sharp so all you need to do is open up the installation folder uh, for SCR Sharp and run the ADSB Spy software. Click start and assuming that you've got your SPI Mini connected, it will then technically tune your SPI Mini to 1090 megahertz and start receiving data from aircraft. Now we then use another bit of software called Virtual Radar Server. Now what that does, it connects directly to the ADSB spy software and it will then decode those transmissions and those location packets and it will generate an HTTP server locally on your computer. What that means technically is that you're able to then view that content on a web page.
Now, as you can see here, uh, this was recorded quite late at night, so there's not that many aircraft, but you can see here that you've got some aircraft that are moving around on the map. You can even click on them, uh, view the type of aircraft they are, and a whole load of other information as well. Now, this is obviously going to be quite dependent upon the type of antenna that you've got connected. They do sell specific 1090 megs uh, ADSB antennas for, for, for this usage. So there you go, that's a really cool little feature that allows you to track aircraft in your vicinity or in your area. And if you have a, a really good antenna, you can actually uh, pick up aircraft from hundreds of miles away. Now, if you're interested in actually setting this up yourself, like uh, going for step by step, have a look through some of my older videos. I go through each of the steps on how to get all of this working. So this video is just purely about showing you what it can do. So the last thing that we're going to look at that you can do with your S by Mini is decoding weather satellites. Now we need two pieces of software. We need to go back to using SDR Sharp and we also need to use an application called WX to IMG. Now SDR Sharp will output its audio to virtual audio cable and then on a WX to IMG you will set the input as your, your VB audio cable. Now one of the features of WX to IMG, it allows you to look at a list of the next available satellite pass or weather satellite pass for your location. You just have to pop in your latitude and longitude and then it will work out uh, and show you like a, a list of passes. Now I've done separate videos on this on how to do each individual thing that you can set up. So go back through my videos if you want to see exactly the settings that you need to make. Now, as you can see here on the screen, I'm actually starting to receive a satellite, a weather satellite, and as the satellite's passing overhead, it's transmitting lines of data which make up an image. I'll just play you a few seconds of uh, what it actually sounds like, uh, the, the audio that's coming from the, uh, from the satellite. And here you go, this is a, a processed image. Um, as it's receiving it, it kind of receives it in black and white and everything. But then once the the, uh, the pass is finished, it will actually uh, process the image into something that's uh, a bit more tangible, something that you can see uh, see clearly and you can easily see where the, where the clouds are. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is uh, five cool things you can do with the S by Mini. There are many, many more things that you can do with it. Um, and uh, have a look through my old videos, and you probably find something that you've uh, that you've never thought, never even thought about before. And if you're looking at purchasing uh, an S by Mini, you can purchase it from Moonraker.eu. Um, I'll leave a link to their website down below. Anyway, until the next video, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.